What's up, everybody? I'm your host, Brian Watkins, and welcome to another edition of the Brian Watkins channel. My subject is I'm responding to the white rapper for saying the M-word during a battle. The reason why I'm making this video is because I made a video about this before, long before this happened, and it's to show that um, I, this was going to happen. I predicted it, and, and many other uh, YouTube creators or, or many uh, people that don't do YouTube videos that talk about it among themselves, this was going to happen, and it's going to keep happening until black people who call themselves niggas stop using the word. So, I'm going to go and cut straight to the chase with it. I'm going to get started right now. Of course, shout outs to everybody for supporting the Brian Walker's channel. I said it before and I'll say it again. For without you, I am nothing. And uh, those of uh, you that are new to my video uh, channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the like button or the dislike button regarding the response subject that I am talking about. So I'm going to cut straight to it. I said before in a video about this a long time ago, I'm going to admit, if I was a white person and I see black people constantly calling themselves the N-word, niggas, uh, yeah, I, w I would feel comfortable in calling them one. Why? Because it shows that they're comfortable with calling themselves that. So to me, it's uh, stupid. It's always a contradiction. You know, that's like me calling a person, a woman, a bitch. You know, no matter what, the word is offensive. I use it to offend to get their attention, but I know the potency of that word before using it. So for blacks who use that word carelessly amongst themselves, they're going to use this so-called term, oh, we only use the word niggas as a term of endearment. Okay, well, if that's the case, when a white person call you one, why do you get upset? See, it's a contradiction, and it's going to keep happening. I feel it was wrong that they hit him. I'm being honest because I always said it amongst myself just in general with the family of niggas that I have. They use that word a lot, and they're the same type that want to beat up a white person for using the word. It's the N-word. It's still nigger, nigger. There's no difference to it. It's almost like what Dave Chappelle said in one of his comedy skits. He said, hmm, how did white people come up with that word to make it stick so well among black people? Well, we got to give them a word that will really stick to them. And that word proves to be the word nigger. Nigger and nigger is the same thing because if it wasn't why did the blacks hit the white rapper when he used it see it's a contradiction and it's going to keep happening it's not going to stop because i feel it was wrong that they hit that white boy or the white rapper or the white man for using the word because blacks need to understand that they need to stop making up these ignorant ass passes for one another you know, you have a civilized world and you have an uncivilized world. And the word nigger means uncivilized or nigger. It means uncivilized. So why would you get upset when you uh, present yourself to the world as being uncivilized? Neither this nor that or dead. So a white person is right to address it. But again, black people that use those kind of words amongst each other show that they are still mentally fucked up in the head because you're going to hit the person for using the word that you use amongst yourself like i said i made a video about this a long time ago and i said this was going to happen and it's going to continue to happen you know it's really sad that uh blacks who call themselves niggas refuse to listen to I know I ain't the only one that make these kind of videos about this you know so I'm just like I feel it was wrong that they hit him you know see here's what I dislike about black people in America who call themselves niggas they feel that they can be niggas without paying dues they feel they can be niggas without any type of repercussion 
this situation shows them that that's not true, especially with Agenda 21 and the New World Order constantly coming on the scene bigger and faster. It's the uh, the presence of the demise of niggas. You know, am I happy that niggas will be removed out of the equation? Yes. Growing up in the hood, like I said before, back in the day when a black person called themselves niggas, um, I saw a little bit of it when I was born. You know, they was getting money. You know what I mean? It was a different meaning. Whereas now, the word nigga, like I say, they like, oh, well, when we use it amongst ourselves, we mean as a term of endearment. It doesn't mean anything because let a white person call a brother or a sister that refer to themselves as nigga. Let that same white person call their mother a nigger and they'll swing on them. See the contradiction? That's why I said a lot of times I do not knock black people that when they get a piece of money that they move the fuck up out the hood. You have to because this situation proved that niggas are confused. You know? Really? I'm like, like I said, if I was a white person and I bought uh, NWA, Niggas with an Attitude, um, The Chronic, um, Snoop Dogg, uh, I'm, yeah, I'm being honest. I'd be like, well, shit, they said amongst themselves, yeah, I should be comfortable calling them one. What's up, my nigga? Pop. Why you gonna fire on me? But y'all call one another this. And it came from my forefathers. So what's the problem? You know, to my viewers, I understand where I'm coming from. You see the contradiction in that? So it's only going to get worse. Like I said, I feel wrong. that that I said not feel wrong. Excuse me. I feel that it was wrong for the white rapper to be hit for using the N-word. The only way that the N-word can be stopped and eradicated is most black people use that word more than anybody else. The former slave master don't have to use it anymore. It's then already took on a life of its own among black people in America who simply refuse to stop using it, mainly the Pookie and Ray Rays, because of the fact they sensitive and care about what their homeboys think. So shit like this gonna keep happening. Like I said, I feel sorry for the white rapper who clearly understood that it's comfortable and okay to use the word among blacks that use it amongst themselves when they playing cars, when they barbecuing, when they getting high, when they fucking bitches, when they at the club, when they at the topless bar, when they jacking motherfuckers. You see the contradiction? So to my viewers, put in the comment section how you feel about it. I definitely would like to know, like I said before, that's why I never, see, growing up in the hood, I saw the difference. I rarely saw intelligent black men, but I knew the difference when I saw one because my late stepfather, Norman Beretti, may he rest in peace, he was Italian. He, he showed me the difference of what a man's supposed to be. Like my, my biological father, straight up Southern nigga. See what I'm saying? So, viewers, put in the comment section how you view about it. You know, how do you feel about it? Like I said before, I don't feel I don't I, I don't feel that the white rapper is wrong for saying it. You know, see niggas want to be niggas, but they don't want to be challenged. They don't want to pay their dues. See, everything comes with a price. No pain, no gain. You know, they just want to be oh well, yeah, we niggas, but when somebody fire on them, oh, don't be doing me calling that motherfucking bitch. No, 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 no. Like I said before, you know, my family is niggas. And they do some shit like that. I mean, one time I had to check my third oldest brother because he wanted to ride down on the white guy for the similar reasons, different ways. I said, no, nah, leave him alone. You know, shit, y'all use the word among yourself. Why you don't get mad at him? And that was back in 1990. So put your comments in the comment section. I want to know. Don't you go anywhere.